From a mega industrial corridor connecting two cities, to new capital cities redefining the status of their respective countries, and from an impressive railway line to a mega project initially proposed more than half a century ago. Here are some of the world's biggest mega projects, which can only be described with one word, monumental. Our next exploration of the biggest mega projects in the world takes us to Southeast Asia, specifically Indonesia. Jakarta has been the national capital since the country proclaimed independence in 1945. However, that is due to change upon completing this $33 billion worth mega project. Situated on the east coast of the island of Borneo, Nusantara is expected to be about 250 square kilometers. The construction started in July 2022 and will be conducted in five phases, with the first being the government's central area zone, housing government offices, healthcare facilities, and schools. So, why is Indonesia willing to spend so much money stripping Jakarta of its status as the national capital? In 2023, Jakarta's population was about 11.25 million, representing a 1.57% growth rate. When considering the greater metropolitan area, the number is three times the population. In addition, Jakarta is facing another major challenge. Research has shown that the city is sinking rapidly. By 2050, it is estimated that 30% of the city could be submerged. Although uncontrolled groundwater extraction has contributed to this problem, the major culprit behind the sinking is the rising Java Sea due to climate change. With the city's air and groundwater becoming heavily polluted and the regular floods and clogging in the streets, it is estimated that the government spends about $4.5 billion a year to address these challenges. With that, Nusantara is considered to be the ultimate solution, as it is also expected to be the first city in Indonesia to adopt 100% renewable energy. Apart from the construction aspect, this mega project also entails extensive logistical planning. There are plans to relocate over 1.5 million civil servants to the city, some 1,240 miles northeast of Jakarta. However, the ministries and government agencies have yet to confirm this number. This mega project is expected to be fully complete in 2045. Egypt seems to have joined an ongoing trend of countries changing their capital cities. Looking to shift from Cairo, the country is investing in a new capital, currently only referred to as the new administrative capital, NAC. The new urban community is located in Cairo Governorate and is also a satellite of the current capital of Egypt, Cairo. Upon completion, NAC is planned to be Egypt's new capital. You might ask yourself, why is Egypt also looking to shift its capital? The current capital, Cairo, is hardly functioning. Government ministries and embassies surrounding the city center's Tahrir Square have become a menace as many streets become blocked to guarantee their security and that of their occupants. To add salt to injury, Cairo is already overflowing, currently estimated to be home to about 22 million people, and this population is expected to double by 2050. With that, President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi led government found a prime location for the new administrative capital 28 miles southeast of Cairo. The plan is that the new capital will enable the consolidation and moving of government headquarters into a more controlled setting. The new capital will also be home to the tallest building in Africa, known as the Iconic Tower, and measuring 393.8 meters in height, a huge presidential palace, ministry buildings, learning and health facilities, and places of worship. Egypt's new administrative capital is expected to cost an estimated 59 billion and will be completed in phases. Launched in 2002 in China, it was designed to move 12 trillion gallons of water over more than 600 miles. When finished, this mega project will link China's four main rivers, the Yangtze, Yellow River, Huahe, and Haihe. There will also be a need to construct three diversion routes that stretch south to north across the eastern, central, and western parts of China. Northern China is considered the hub of population, industry, and agriculture. With all three growing apace, there is a decline in the per capita share of the region's limited water resources. The excessive use of groundwater has also been linked to issues such as land subsidence and frequent sandstorms in the region. 
The concept of the diversion project was initially proposed by Chairman Mao Zedong in 1952. He envisioned this to be a good way of addressing water shortages in Beijing, Tianjin, and the northern provinces of Hebei, Henan, and Shandong. After 50 years of research, planning, and discussion, the project received approval from the State Council in August 2002. This mega project will be complete in 2050 and will cost $62 billion. As we reveal the top two biggest mega projects in the world, remember to subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Now, on to a mega project that will position one country more strategically as a serious player in the global economic stage. Still in Asia, the Delhi Mumbai Industrial Corridor is another mega project that finds its way to our list of the biggest mega projects in the world. The monumental project is valued at $100 billion and spans 980 miles, crossing six states. Upon completion, the DMIC is intended to connect India's political capital, Delhi, with the country's business capital, Mumbai. This mega project is envisioned to be a significant driver of urban, business, economic, and social development over the next four decades. DMIC entails a substantial investment in other mega infrastructures as it will feature the creation of up to six mega cities under the Smart and Intelligent Cities Scheme. Other aspects of the project include nine industrial mega zones, a high-speed railway, six airports, three ports, roads, additional railway lines, and a 4,000 megawatt power plant. Why is DMIC so important to India? With DMIC, India will address three major issues facing its manufacturing sector. These issues are multiple infrastructure deficits, the scarcity of readily available serviced land for plants and factories, and the challenge of unplanned and informal urbanization that does not align with industrial development. With the DMIC, about 180 million people, or 14% of the population, are also expected to benefit from job creation and the establishment of new cities with enhanced services. This mega project started as an Indian and Japanese government joint project in 2006 and will be completed in four phases. The entire project is set to be completed in 2037. Saudi Arabia is going all out in investing in mega projects to match the prestigious status of its regional neighbors and stand an equal competitive chance in tourism and investor attraction. One such project is the mind-boggling $500 billion flagship project Neom. This smart city is a huge economic zone eventually meant to be home to about 9 million people. Neom's first phase is set to cost $319 billion, or 1.2 trillion reals, half of which will come from the Kingdom's Sovereign Wealth Fund, the Public Investment Fund. Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman, announced that Saudi Arabia plans to tap sovereign wealth funds in the region and globally to raise part of the remaining part of funds, which will also be funded through private sector investment and an initial public offering that is expected to take place in 2024. So what exactly is Neom City? And why is Saudi Arabia looking to invest such massive amounts of money? Neom is a 26,500 square kilometer high-tech development on the Red Sea and is part of the Vision 2030 reform plan to diversify Saudi Arabia's economy. One of the key components of Neom is the line, a 170-kilometer coastal strip envisioned as a car-free, zero-emission city. The line is envisioned to utilize artificial intelligence to manage interconnected societies that coexist with nature. The line will also have a 200-meter-wide series of urban modules between two 500-meter-high mirrored facades and will incorporate hanging pathways, gardens, and a stadium.